the kind of person he is he is doing now what he is doing now he is doing the right thing in the right way in the right place and in his own style and that's also very important very very rarely you get that kind of a personality all in one so we want today's startup community the entrepreneur so called he has to come to the turbo start with only idea passion more important even a million is a big money to count for a youngsters today but the dream is more important and to that extent i think bangalore now is the startup capital of the country and uh, probably in a decade there i can dream that bangalore can be the startup capital of the world because in 2018 10 unicorns india has presented to the world and no other country has presented 10 unicorns in one year that too from india so that makes us to believe that 10 can become 30 30 can become 100 billion correct so if our honorable prime minister wants to achieve 5 trillion economy probably some portion of that will always come from our own unicorns and today uh what is the first feeling you got like the first real genuine feeling when you started off on your own what the hell i got uh is that what is the first feeling you got like the first real genuine feeling when you started off on your own what the hell i got uh is that Um, but you know, I think the one thing before everywhere across the world, we work an incredible story, an incredible journey. But you know, the last few months have been a different kind of story, and 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 against all odds, uh, defines it, right? And we work is there. Tell us what it has meant the last few months, and how are you looking at we work now? Sure. Well, first, I'll tell my story a little bit. Has anyone actually ever been in a we work? Bunch of actually, everyone, awesome. Um, so my story, briefly, you know, I started with WeWork when we had about 35. I used to really be evangelist, right? And the first 20, 30, 50 employees that you have really need to believe in the mission just as much as the founder does, because at the end of the day, those people are going to be there at seven o'clock in the morning. They're going to be there at ten o'clock at night. They're going to be there at two o'clock in the morning sometimes, right? Trying to figure out problems. And uh, and one of the things that we did in the early days was we didn't really hire a ton of, um, you know. Very um, specific, like a, a very senior head of sales. We hired a ton of generalists that just really believed in helping our members create their life's work, and then from that, that group of people really built the foundation of the business. And I thought that was just something that I always learned from. If I ever started my own thing in the future, I would really try to hire people who were the evangelists of our mission and who could do a lot of different things. So, just in terms of like when you're starting out, I think that's a that's a good thing to think about. As it relates to WeWork, I think the one thing that Um, you know, keeps me excited after everything is a, um, you know, the space that we're in is still going to grow substantially, uh, and also. Uh, and today there are such established funds in India. Sharing